Welcome back to Newbie for Hire and another ARC motorboat build guide tutorial thing. This time you may recall the War Machine, which was this, you know, boat that has some storage and it had these two little turret towers. You may recall this thing is not within the legal bounds of the game due to these boxes right here actually floating and not being attached to anything. So I've redesigned the war machine. It's the same exact design, except it's been adjusted so that these two boxes, while still having the gaps to shoot through, are now attached to the boat. They're no longer floating, so they should be within the rules. Now, I'm not one of the developers, so I can't say definitively, but I would be comfortable building this but as always, you know, you build at your own risk. This should be within the rules. According to the rules they've set out, the new war machine that I'm about to do the tutorial on should be legit. Now, this video is going to be a little different from my... Usually, when I make the video, I, I design and build the prototype. And then shortly thereafter, I build a second boat, which is where I record the video. This time, I've built this prototype for the new war machine a few months ago, quite a while ago, so I've kind of forgotten how to do it, but I don't want to rebuild it and then rebuild it again, because if I do that, I'll probably never get the video done. So I'm just gonna start building it and play by ear. I might make a couple mistakes uh, in the build that I'll have to adjust, uh, mainly in things like build order. Like, you know, if you go inside here, you got this, it's got the cryo fridge, it's got a, uh, the smithy underneath. I'm not sure if you can put this smithy. I don't, I'm not sure which you have to put first, the smithy or this ramp. You know, things like that. I'll have to adjust as I go along. You got the generator, you got AC, you got the bed here, you got some turrets inside. We've got the fabricator. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to have to place that thing to make sure it gets in. And this, this generator, I can't remember which place is first, the fabricator or the generator. So that'll have to play by ear. Uh, other than that, you know, it's the same as the other one. You got these little sniper turrets that you shoot out of. But as you can see here, it's actually attached to the boat right here in the middle. Uh, and through this this wall here is what brings it all together. And then it attaches here. So you've got three gaps. So you can still shoot out. And there you go. Otherwise, you know, other than that, everything's pretty much the same with this. Except, you know, I've added the cryo fridge for dino storage. It's, it can still store a full bird, uh, even though this guy's hanging halfway out. It's uh, still got the minigun, it's still got the guns on top and the Plan X. Underneath, of course, we've gone to the new design where we do the pillars down with the ceiling instead of the floating foundation because that's against the rules. So, anyway, let's get right into the build. Alright, this time in order to place the pillar, we're going to see the tiller here and we're going to face this direction like this. Not like we usually do. We're going to place the pillar in there like this. If you don't like it, pick it up put it again. I think it's fine right there. Then we're going to put a pillar next to it at the lower spot. We can go ahead and pick up this one. We're going to put a foundation after this pillar. pillar. Then we're going to pick up this pillar. We're going to put another foundation there. Then we're going to pick up this foundation. We're going to put a pillar in this. And then a foundation. We're going to put a foundation at the lower point here. Alright, at the lower position like that. Then you can pick up this pillar. Put a pillar in this at the lower position. And then a foundation coming off of that at the lower position. So it should be three levels of foundations coming out here. Now we can pick up this pillar. And we're going to put a pillar in this one at the lowest position. And then a foundation under here. So we should have four levels of foundations now. We can pick up this pillar. And now we want to pick up this foundation. And we're going to put a foundation here at the lower point. 
like that. Now we can put a foundation right here at the upper point. And then a foundation here at the lower point. Just like that. And we want to do it exactly like this, otherwise we're going to have some problems putting floors uh, underneath the boat in the middle, which you won't be able to pick up again. So you should now have three tiers. All right, now we're going to go ceilings out from here, 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 here on the other side. So four ceilings at the medium level. And then going to the back at the medium level. These are the only two we're going to have at the lower level. So don't worry about anything else at the lower level. We'll take these ceilings all the way out at the medium level. Once we place the ceiling, if we're facing the back here, we're going to put one to the side here, but at the higher level, one here at the, so place this one at the higher level first, and then it'll make this one easier to place at the higher level. I don't know why I placed a piece of wood. And then we're going to go... We're going to place some one in this back corner as well. We're going to remove it, but we're placing it so that we can place the ones that we need. We're going to do the same on the other side. And then the other corner. And then two in the back here at the higher level. I think it should only let us do the higher level. Then we can pick up these ceilings except for these two in the front here because we haven't placed a thing under them yet and we can pick up these two floors in the back corner and these ceilings and that floor in that back corner oh my goodness I didn't realize I put that at the lower level. So I'm going to have to resealing this one and then replace. Oh, I did it again. There we go. And this ceiling can go picked up and this ceiling. So now we've got we've got the media level 2 at the very back of the boat here and then wrapping around like this. These we haven't put floors under. We're going to go ahead and put floors under these at the lower level and then we can pick up the ceiling there. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So now we just have the two poking up. We're going to do Then we do one more ceiling off the front here, and one more floor under that, and under the other side. Then we can pick up these ceilings, then we're going to do a ceiling off the highest foundation, two off the front, and then two more like this, and then we're going to put foundations under those at the higher point. So you're going to have to check as you go along, make sure it's always at the higher point. Then we can pick up these ceilings. And this is our foundation of the boat. So should we have a we should have a two by three at the highest point, going out like that, and all the rest here at the medium, and the two at the lowest point there, so that we can drive the boat. Then we're going to place the giant hatch frames, and we can place these. We're going to place these off the front here. You know, off the higher point. We're going to place them like this. Higher point. Off the, off the higher point at the front, so that they're they're square to the front of the boat, just like that. We're gonna do another one on the other side. 
I believe we can play some like this. Uh, I mean, I might have to go back in the video if not, but I'm pretty sure this is how we want to play some. Uh, and just like that on the other side. And then the hatch frames on the back, we're going to do off this. All the way pushed out as far as you can so that they're on this foundation, like that. And then same thing on this other side. We're going to push it forward so that it's on that foundation just like that. That's exactly how we want it. So our boat should be looking like this from the top. All right, now facing the back, we're gonna do a doorway on this side, a wall on this side, and then a wall above that, and a wall above that. You can put the door in there if you want. Then we're gonna do a wall A wall here. Try and make sure it's on the foundation and, and not on the hatch frame. Not that it, I don't think it really matters, but just, just like that. Once we've got this built like this, we're going to do another giant hatch frame at the top of it. Just like that. And then we're going to do, face in the back, we're going to do. Uh, Slope wall left, and the other side, slope wall right, like that. Then once we've got that, we're going to do a wall here. And the same on the other side. So this is the front of the boat we're looking at. And then another wall. here and a wall here make sure it's not on the giant hatch frame and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side just like that then in these little boxes we're gonna do slope metal roofs which are kind of, they're kind of annoying to, to place, but because they like to bounce, you kind of just got to get lucky, just like that. I mean, you just, because they flip back and forth so fast, you just, I don't know, maybe someone knows a technique, but it's not me. I just get lucky like that, bada bing. And then on the very front of the boat, we're going to go, Slope metal wall left on the right side, and then slope metal wall right on the left side. And then we can also do slope ceilings here, slope metal roofs, going across, like that. And we can do the same on the other side. We might have to demo these and redo them to put something underneath, but I don't know. Then at the front, we're going to put two more slope metal roofs like this. And then our wall in the middle. I'm going to put it on that side. I don't think it matters. That's how I'm going to do it. And then a ceiling from both sides of that wall. And this, this wall we've placed, we're going to bring it back one more, like that. And then we're going to place ceilings coming down from this metal hatch frame. Like so. And then also two ceilings coming off this metal hatch frame like that. And then we can do another door, or another, sorry, not a door, a wall, 
coming down from next to that one, and then the same on the other side. And then a wall here, hanging off the not. We don't want it on top of the ceiling. We want it hanging from the the thing. And we'll tell by how far it comes down. See, we, that's how we want it. And we're gonna have a doorway on this one. Same thing. We want it hanging off the top. We want a ramp here. We should be able to squeeze through, just like that. Then we want slope, metal ceiling left, or right, sorry, and then left on that side. And then one more in the middle here. It doesn't actually matter whether it's left or right, just whichever one it is will determine which side of which ceiling it stands on. I used a left so that it's on the, the ceiling. If you used a right, it would be on the ceiling. And then we're going to go with another sloped ceiling on top of that. And with a little bit of luck, you can get it on there. Then from the ceiling on the top, we're looking at the front. Here's our little boxes. We're going to put a wall here and a wall here and then a ceiling here and a ceiling here and then we can take our doorways doorway hanging down doorway hanging down wall hanging down on that side and then wall hanging down there we go, with a little distance, so I was able to get it. And we're doing the same thing on this side. Wall and wall, finish the box. And we can go ahead and put doors inside these boxes. In the other two spots. And then also, we'll put the door at the very back of the boat. We'll put our hatch frame in the top, and then one more door right here. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rebuild this differently. I think if we get put the door in, then the ramp. Or hmm, no, no, it's gonna have to be. It's this ceiling that has to. That has to go. So we're gonna have to put the door for that, then the ceiling for this. Uh, and this is a, this is the kind of kinks I would have had ironed out if I did it if I did the build ahead of time. But I did the, like I said I did the build so long ago I've forgotten exactly how it goes. Anyway, we'll put that back on there, and we should be we should be, I, I'm pretty sure we can put the ramp just fine. Yep. So we got the ramp, now we should be able to squeeze out, which we can. Alright. At the very back, the entrance to our boat, of course we're going to put ramps there. If you want to save a piece, you can just put one. But I like to put two for looks. You know, I mean if you've seen my videos, you know a lot of it is just about the looks. You know, not all of it is, you know, functionality is only part of it. Obviously, if it was if it was all functionality, I'd just build like a box, and it would be very boring. And so, I want the two ramps here, and I want them at the same height. As for our turrets underneath, so the, to get our turrets underneath, we're going to stick our pillar underneath. We're going to stick it on the right side back by this door. Uh, this pillar is going to stick up through the floor, so that's why we're going to pick this spot. And then bring the pillars down. I think one, two, I think we need one more. And then we can go ceiling here. And now we can demolish the bottom pillar. And we can put our turrets on this. 
And I think we have enough pieces to do three turrets. I could be mistaken. We want to do a, a minimum. We want to do two turrets, but I really think we want to do at least three. I forgot I don't have power yet. So I'm going to do one on each of these corners, and then I'm going to do one on the back here. You can put these however you want. These these three turrets underneath are mainly for leads. We're going to put these turrets on wild to kill leads for us. Back up on top, we're going to put our minigun on this little double ceiling here. I think where we want this thing is... I honestly think we get, we need to take this this roof off. So if you're building this, yeah, you're gonna want to place this turret right there before you place that roof. So we're gonna put that back with luck. Ooh, first try. That's the kind of luck I'm talking about. As for that's your plan X and turrets. I mean, you can put them however you want. I'm going to show you how I want to put them. I'm going to put one plan X here with a turret here and then a turret on the, the opposite corner. And I put the plan X on diagonal so I could get those turrets on easily. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then the same on the opposite corner, so I got them looking like that. And then I'm going to put a plan X in the middle here. Like that. You can you can put them however you want. You can put two there if you want, I think. I think you can fit two, maybe not. That might be why I put one originally. Then I'm going to put two crop plots on these wings too, but I want to put turrets on the inside first because I want to make sure that my crop plots don't block them. And those turrets I'm going to put just at the very corner, pushing through the ceiling here. Like that. And then one more over here. Pushing through. And then opposite, opposite side, same thing. on the very corner, pushing through, and then over here, other corner, pushing through, and then also at the very front of the boat, I want two turrets I don't, okay, I'm moving too fast pushing through like that and then one on the other side now I can place those crop plots on the wings because I don't want them I don't want them blocking these turrets let me figure out this alright it looks like from the top I got the easiest time placing these Just like that, perfect. Our guns are poking through. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I think, oh, I'm falling. Perfect. And then, I'm, of course, I'm gonna put guns on the edges of these giant hatch frames on the corner and then on the other corner want them facing like that one more on the other side here course. In the back corner 
corner there. And then on the other side. And then last, I believe these are my last turrets on the exterior. I'm just going to put them on the, the back corner on the top of this hatch frame here. This is the back of the boat. I forgot I want two more at the very front here. Next to these ones. <coughs> if I need pieces or needed pieces, I'd probably take those two off first. These two here. Alright, now for the inside, let's hope I can get this without too much difficulty. I think we're going to start with the straight cable, and we're going to center it in the boat. Maybe a K cam, maybe if I go this way actually. Yeah, this is probably the way. Alright, so facing the back, I think I want it right about there. Yeah, I think this is where I want it. Uh, and then the generator, we want it. I think we want it like that. Are we far enough back? I hope so. Alright, everybody's got power, so in that sense it's good. Uh, I thought we could put fabricators through here, through generators. So I'm not. It might be that we got to do the fabricator first. So let's try that. Oh, uh, you know, this fabricator... I think... Ooh, this is good, this is good. I think that's where we want it. Right, can we squeeze through? Okay, we can squeeze through. Now, can we get the generator hooked up into the fabricator? And I think we can. Alright, so that worked. That's how we wanted it. So we do the fabricator first, then we do the generator. Uh, just like that. Then we can go ahead and do that. I don't think th I don't think we have any problem with the rest of it. We just put the rest of it how we want. I'm going to put a bed here by the entrance, and then our regular fridge here next to this pillar. Just as we don't want it sticking through the wall, but as close to the wall because the fridge is like to stick through. I think that's probably good. Perfect, actually. And then we had the cryo fridge in front of this ramp. I don't know why this crowd for Oh, there we go, that's the spot. That we had that. We had our AC right here next to our driving. Probably I think we kinda want room here to squeeze to this turret so we can reload that. And then uh, for smithies, we had one under this ramp. It looks like we have to destroy the ramp to place this. I don't know if I can replace this ramp without picking up other stuff. Let's try that out. So if we go smithy here, smithy here, can we put the ramp back? And we can, no problem. All right, so. So we got to destroy that ramp, put that smithy to get that there, and then I think we got. Then we're gonna do one more smithy. Right here. Is that good? I think that's good. We can squeeze through. I think we're done. I think that's it. Uh, no, we do have more spaces. How many? That's the question. Did we miss any? I don't think I've missed anything. So, you know, we could do more smithies. Just kind of in the middle here. 
Oh, that was it. That was the last thing. So, you know, if you want something other than a smithy, you could put something else. I mean, it's up to you. If you want more storage, more smithies. If you want more versatility, you could put campfires or, you know, really whatever you want. I think it's got everything essential in here for raiding. There you have it. The War Machine 2.0 presumably legal within the rules as far as I understand the rules uh, shouldn't have any problem with it it's, it has no floating structures nothing built beyond the limit of the boat building I mean those are the rules no floating structures nothing built beyond the limit so this is within the, the range of building Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like to hit the thumbs up, if you want to see more, subscribe. I apologize that it took so long to come out with this video. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises about f upcoming videos. Hopefully I can make some more more frequently. Uh, I still have plans to do uh, an additional couple builds with the, the Indie Forges. I had the one with the two Forges. You know, I had a couple more things, like this little TIE Fighter. And then, yeah, I especially wanted to do the, the two Industrial Forge build. Most likely the next build I do will be this one. Uh, a build on this one. I mean, if you look at it, you can maybe figure out how to do it. It's not, it's not that complicated. Uh, pretty simple little design. And then I still had this one. Uh, I also wanted to do, even though it's not really necessary, unless you can't afford a cryo fridge, in which case, then it would be good. There were also some regular raft builds I wanted to do. I can't remember. I think I already did this one, uh, but there was maybe it was this one I did. I can't remember. There was a couple of them I wanted to do that were just regular rafts. I mean, honestly, it's a little too much materials to be putting into something that can be destroyed relatively easily even more easily than a motorboat but you know who knows maybe you want to I mean if you if you use a regular raft you can build these out of stone and uh, maybe not put so many auto turrets maybe put more plan X anyway thanks again we'll catch you next time